Okay guys, welcome back. Okay, we're into ZBrush 2019 new features and for this particular tutorial I want to check out the intersection masker. Now I've never used this before so I'm going to see how intuitive it is. I'm going to create a, a sphere 3D and I'm going to go straight into edit mode and I'm going to make that poly mesh 3D. I'll just change my type to basic material 2 and I'm just going to subdivide this a few times and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to use the old um, 3D snapshot just to do something groovy uh, I think in one of these I have access to the Pizza Logic logo uh, maybe it's this one uh, maybe it's this one ah oh, there it is okay let's grab that so I press Z on the keyboard just to bring this up and I'm going to make a clone or duplicate of that and just move it off over here lock it to the middle and then bring the size up quite a bit for me to test this out and I'm just purely going to do a snapshot of that okay control shift um, sorry shift Z to get rid of that and I should have that logo in there miles too big but it'd be good for an intersection so I'm gonna bring that down and I'm now going to take this and create my intersection so that's my intersection okay let's make it a bit bigger I've really push this and see if it's working on this so um, I have this ZBrush logo um, embedded or intersecting this polymesh 3d so uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go to the Z plugin and into intersection masker and I'm going to go create an intersection mask and see what happens. Okay, so what's happened here? Ooh, nothing. Okay, so why? Why is it not done that? So I'm going to select the base tool. So any anything selected. So I'm taking it that this is intersecting with this, and this is what I want the mask to be applied on. So I'm going to go like this. Error. Continue. Do, do, do. Please delete subdivision levels. Okay. So we don't. We can't have any subdivision levels. Well, that's interesting. So let's delete lower and let's try again. Intersection mask. Okay. Seems to be doing something. So I'll turn this off and still haven't got anything so how the hell does this work so it's not as intuitive as I thought it was going to be create some mask where geometry islands intersect on the selected sub tool well I'm definitely intersecting I'm definitely intersecting this you can see I am really intersecting this so why isn't it creating that file okay so out of the box it's quite it's not that intuitive to work out right so what's going on well um, it's simple really it's not going to look at that although it would be a handy feature if you could but um, it's not going to look at that so what I need to do is just need to turn my polygons on I just need to make this um, you don't need to but I'm going to make it one poly group so I'm pressing Control W uh, just so that it's going to be easier for me to select in a minute so I'm going to take this one down now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this down so click OK, merge it down. So now what I'm hoping will happen is it will look at this as one piece and create our intersection. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to create an intersecting mask. And now what we're going to have is if I click the control shift to hide the other piece is a mask. Now it's pixelated because of the resolution of the mask. So I'm actually going to clear the mask and I'm going to up the resolution of this piece here. So I've cleared that and I'm going to just uh, split. I'm going to split these out. Sorry, before I do that, let me go to split and group split and click OK. So that will split this back away again. So I can take this and then I can up the resolution. Control D, Control D. So I've up this to two subdivision levels and I'm going to delete lower on this and I'm going to take this and merge it back down again. This should give us a better quality. So let's just do a merge and merge that down click OK 
that's good go back to our intersection master and we're going to create an intersection mask again and this time um, we should have it good so it's going to take a bit longer because obviously there's more going on but this is a complex curve it's um, curving in both directions so it's pretty decent so once I've got this intersection and also remember you can use multi mesh insert brushes as well to create intersections which is going to be very cool I'm going to press the control and the shift key click on this again it's going to give us this and now to get rid of that original pixel logic logo that I've got make sure you make a backup if you want to keep it but I'm going to go basically to modify topology and then delete hidden and that will delete that out now I can use the control key and click once to invert the mask and then I can use something like a deformation and an inflate here just to inflate this out and then I can deselect it all and there we go I've got an exact intersection of that piece so that's how to use the intersection plugin very easy to use just make sure it's in the same sub tool as I said before if you wanted to use a multi mesh insert brush then you could use one of those embed that in and then create your intersecting masks from that as well so really cool tool there could be hundreds and thousands of uses for this particular thing for getting exact masks on the stuff where it intersects so that is good i'll be using that during some of my courses that i'm going to bring out at some stage and um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this lesson very quick one um, on this very cool plugin that they've introduced in zbrush 2019